Corn School is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. So one of the tools uh, tools of our trade as an agronomist is uh, is a soil penetrometer, and it can be used to help detect uh, soil compaction or layers of compaction within a field, picking up things like uh, tillage passes and, and uh, hard pans and things like that. So uh, it's set up with with two tips, a, a large and a small. The large one you use for more loose soils, like on a sandy soil. And uh, you pay attention as you push it through. Uh, there's three ranges on here, green obviously, and yellow are saying roots ought to be able to go through those layers. And when it gets to the red area, about 300 PSI, we don't know for certain that roots can't get through 300 PSI, but we got a pretty good indication that that's gonna be very difficult. So when you get to the red area on there, you wanna stop and take note of how deep that is and where it is in the field and do more than one probe but sometimes the errors that are made in using this is not using them on the right field conditions. Ideally you want the entire root zone moist. You don't want to be into a, a hard surface layer or, or dried out subsoil so usually about a day to 24 hours after a nice soaking rain, not when it's muddy of course, but when you got moisture through the profile these things work best under those conditions. So when it's hot and dry everything's going to look compacted. So the way you use it is uh, find out the area of interest and then push it slowly and steadily into the soil. Keep an eye on, on the probe. And so far I'm still right there. So at that depth I run into a restricted area. There's graduations on the cylinder here. So at six inch depth, which could be the depth of a tillage pass, I'm in the red zone that's going to be very difficult, we think, for roots to get through unless it keeps raining and keeps the soil soft. So it's another piece of the puzzle of understanding why crops are different in their growth habit than they are in other areas of the field. And when you do direct comparison between good and bad, it's it's pretty good indication uh, where you run into that restricted layer is pretty much related to what the plant looks like.